Another grim statistic for Manitoba. A new report reveals that the province had the second highest homicide rate in Canada last year. Going back at least um, probably since about 2014, 2018, 2019, uh, our homicide rate is above the national average. According to Statistics Canada, the province saw a total of 61 homicides, giving Manitoba a homicide rate of 4.41 per 100,000. In broad terms, if we look internationally, it's a pretty low homicide rate. Compared to the United States, compa compared to some uh, countries overseas, it, it is in that broader sense, um, a low homicide rate. But in a comparative context, if the Canadian average is, I think it's now 1.75 per 100,000, and we're up around four, um, that's almost double. Gurkhoff says Manitoba has significant social determinants of homicides, such as lack of affordable housing and social support for people with addiction issues, which contribute to the number of homicides the province sees. Sergeant Paul Manig from the RCMP says Manitoba's homicide rate is a number higher than they'd like to see. This year, I guess our major crime services with homicides has been very busy, uh, a lot busier than we'd like. Neighboring Saskatchewan had a homicide rate of 5.93, the highest in the country. Although Manig says he doesn't know why the homicide rates are higher in the prairies, one factor that potentially comes into play is economic instability. Probably comes down to socioeconomic factors once again as there are higher unemployments uh, in the rural areas. The report also shows that the rate of homicide against Indigenous people remained disproportionately higher than any other group in Canada. The report contributes that to Canada's long history with colonialism. And Gurkhoff agrees. The citizenry in Manitoba has really experienced the blunt force of colonialism um, in ways not seen in other Canadian cities uh, of similar size. So the impact of colonialism manifests itself in sets of unhealthy relationships um, and uh, a lot of basic needs being unmet. Earlier this month, the city of Winnipeg surpassed a record number of homicides, making 2022 the deadliest year on record. As for what the future holds, Gurkhoff says she doesn't think the province's homicide rate will be slowing down anytime soon. I don't think it, that, that trend is going to stop. I think it's going to continue unless we address these kinds of determinants that give rise to, to violent crime. In Winnipeg, Sweet Arassi, City News.